My pasta primavera is a family favorite. I use loads of bright veggies seasoned with Italian herbs and fresh garlic. And to make things super simple, I roast the veggies while the pasta's cooking. I'm Susie with TheMediterraneanDish.com. Let's make some pasta primavera. Well, let's start with the veggies. We've got some zucchini, some squash, some bell peppers, all sorts of colors. So zucchini, first I'm gonna half it. And then I'm gonna do like half moons. It's gonna feel like I'm using a lot of veggies, but once they roast, they're gonna reduce and they're gonna be just gorgeous to add to my pasta. What I love about pasta primavera though is that you could use up whatever veggies you have on hand. Squash is zucchini sweet, our cousin. Nice and yellow and a little bit bulkier, but we're gonna cut it in the same way. Two bell peppers, any color you like. I'm using red and orange. We're gonna go around the middle here and just kinda slice through. Easiest way to get rid of the core. Then we're gonna cut into strips. Bell pepper party goes right in here. Two or three carrots, some sticks is all I'm looking for, like this and a red onion. Any onion will do. Make this easy, I'm gonna cut it in half. Remove the peel. However you cut the onion, it's okay. Just kind of stick with whatever shape you come up with. Almost done, you guys. This is really all the work it takes to make this pasta, just kind of getting the veggies ready. And that's all. You can even do this bit one night in advance and save your veggies in the fridge and then when you come back from work you can just throw this pasta together, no chopping necessary. So we've got all the beautiful veggies in here. A little bit of fresh garlic. I'm using anywhere between three and five, six garlic cloves. <laughs> I love garlic. Mince it as fine as you can. Garlic goes in. A little bit of dry oregano, a good tablespoon more for later. And we've got some fresh thyme. We're gonna save some for the pasta later on. And then kosher salt and black pepper. You want a good generous drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. I am using my private reserve, Ivu. But you wanna make sure that you're able to coat these veggies well with the spices and the garlic and you don't want the garlic to burn so you want to make sure you've got enough extra virgin olive oil in here. Use your hands or one of these guys and just make sure that you get everything well coated with this beautiful seasoning and extra virgin olive oil. I got my oven on high 450. I'm gonna put these guys in my big sheet pan. If you don't have a large, large one, use two. You don't wanna crowd them. Give it a shake. Okay, these look great. We're gonna stick these babies right in the oven. I already cooked some pasta. Any pasta you like will do. I'm just gonna give it a quick little salt and pepper, oregano, and fresh thyme. All the same seasonings we used in our little bit of veggies that we did earlier. Help it out with just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Let's add our veggies. Ooh, these smell delicious. I am ready to put this pasta together. Let's add our veggies. Tomatoes, lemon zest. Okay, we're gonna give this a toss and help it out with a little bit of the pasta water. This pasta goes so well if you're doing Italian night with my panzanella salad, so definitely check that video out. Since we're not doing any heavy sauces here, Parmesan cheese. One last toss and you are ready to eat. 
Grab the recipe for pasta primavera on themediterraneandish.com. Subscribe and follow this channel for more delicious videos. I'll see you later. Ciao.